Hi, hello, how are you? Amanda, sane artist. I'm gonna do my makeup. I'm gonna talk about the next thing you need. Go with me on this. Cream illuminator. Here are all the creams. There's pearl, honey, angel, rose gold, and glow. Pick whichever one you want. Any of these will work. So I'm gonna go with pearl. I'm gonna rub my finger in this. I'm gonna rub the heck out of it and I'm gonna put a good amount on there. And before all my makeup's on, I'm gonna put it on my nose. I mean, that looks a little ridiculous. It's okay. Put your illuminator here, here, and put it here. And it gives you that J-Lo glow everybody wants into my main highlight. And I'm going to put on my beard. So I put that illuminator here. I'm taking my brightener, going and I'm steepling over it. And I'm just blending that brightening over it. I'm gonna get my detail brush and I'm gonna go into my contour and I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna contour my forehead. I like going on the sides and then I bring it together and then I bring it down to my temple. The next thing I'm gonna do is my nose. I always live on the edge of my detail brush and I'm just gonna go on the top but not the side, not the tippy top, so the top. And I'm just gonna give myself a little contour. Right here, right here. I'm gonna flip it to the empty side, and I'm just gonna buff it, and I'm gonna bring it up to my brow. I'm just buffing it. Same thing over here, I'm just gonna buff it, bring it up, and use this to buff the bridge. So I have buffed out my nose, here, and I'm gonna go in front of my earlobe, and down. Front and down. I'm gonna take my brush and I'm just gonna use little circles and I'm gonna push this up towards my cheekbone and down. And this just gives my jaw definition and structure. All right, I'm gonna put it on the edge of that brush again and I am gonna go just on the edge of that cheekbone and bring it in like that, but not past the outer corner of my eye. Same thing over here on that edge. And I'm gonna bring it down. I like to have mine curved a bit, but not past that outer corner. And then I'm gonna take this corner right here and I'm just gonna use this to buff it. And as I'm adding these colors, my main highlight, my contours, I'm gonna add brightening under my eyes. That brightening that I put right here, it goes on top of it and it mixes with it. And it gives that underlying dewiness and glow and extra Loveliness. It just is so good. This makeup is foolproof. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is I am going to use my finger and I'm gonna go into my bronzer. It's a lot creamier than I than the highlights and the contours, so a little goes a long way. I'm gonna pop this right here and right here. I'm gonna go at the top of my cheekbone like that. Oops. Here and here, there we go. Two is I'm gonna go into Dahlia. I love this color with warmer, with the summer, with your summer skin, it's so pretty. I keep it not on the apple, I keep it just above. I like to blend my blushes to my apple. It's just good, that's why. I'm gonna take my blush and bronzer brush and up here, I'm just gonna really lightly buff this around. And what this is gonna do is it's just gonna give me that warmth like I got a sun kiss on my forehead. Just gives. The difference between a contour and a bronzer is warmth. Your contours are cool like a shadow and your bronzer is warm like the sun. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start on my bronzer here and I'm just gonna steeple, use circles and I'm gonna blend this right here and then I'm gonna bring it down and into that pink and I'm gonna keep moving down so that the pink moves to the apple of my cheek and then back up towards that bronzer. And just look at that. Pretty. And it's working with that illuminator that I had smeared all over. So again, I use little circles to start the blending of the bronzer. And then I start steepling it down into that pink that then grabs the pink and moves it to the apple. And then back up into the bronzer. So they just marry and work together. I'm gonna flip this to the fluffy end and I'm gonna use big circles to 
to marry the bronzer, the blush, and the contour together. And it just looks really good. All right, I am going to go to the small end of my detail brush, and I'm gonna go into my brightening highlight, which is a shade or two lighter than my natural skin tone. I'm gonna pick up a little bit. I'm running a bit low. Just pick it up. And I am going to put it in this inner duct on my soft tissue and I'm steepling it on, okay? I'm then gonna come up here and I'm gonna put it right up here on the top of my orbital. And then I'm gonna pull it down on my cheekbone, just like that. Pretty easy. Next, I'm gonna just use light little circles to blend this over. I'm using a very light touch, the tips of the bristles. And all this is doing is, is it works it together, blends it out, and it makes you look like you've got a full night of sleep. It also is an eye lift. Look at that. That's the difference. I'm gonna go to this brush and I'm just gonna press right here just to give it an extra go here, and I'm gonna fluff at the top of my cheeks and just marry those together. Brightening is money. Okay, I'm gonna go into my brightening again. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just steepling this in the corner, just like that. Steepling it into the corner. Get a little more, and I'm gonna get up here on the top of that orbital. And then I'm gonna bring it down onto that cheekbone. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, and then light. I mean, can you see how light I'm touching? I mean, I'm barely kissing this with the tops of the bristles. This makeup doesn't need a heavy hand. It just needs assistance. That's all. Doing that, just moving it around, blending it out. I'm gonna to go to this guy and I'm gonna press this right here. You could do this with a beauty blender. You can do this with your brush. I'm just trying to do this with just two brushes. Then I'm gonna take it, flip it, and I'm gonna fluff this up. You can take your setting spray, spray it up, let it fall. That's my face. I just wanted to show this amazing, you need a cream illuminator. Go get one and try this. It's worth it. Plus I think they're 14 bucks, I mean, that's it.